Good evening, humans. Trying to start off here, and welcome to the monthly vlog for October 2023. Let's do this. So here we are in October, and it is full on spooky month. It is full on fall, with the exception of the couple past couple of days here in Massachusetts when it's been about 80 degrees, which not really complaining about that part. Uh, definitely afraid of what that means for winter, but um, you know that's nice. But it also kind of makes it not feel as much like uh, Halloween season. <laughs> Uh, admittedly, but uh, yeah, it, it is what it is and still like, you know, it's it's been a fun fun month and you know, my son gets to wear his costume in various places so he's happy and so I'm happy and uh, yeah, talking about toys, um, there's definitely a number of things that happened this year. I do not have detailed notes as I generally don't, but just kind of the, the general overview. Uh, it's definitely a solid month. There were some good pickups, a lot of stuff hitting shelves, a lot of stuff kind of up in the air, like the... Uh, uh, AEW Supreme CM Punk, people are like, what's going on? A lot of people are still getting sent, having ordered that and being sent um, either Cody Rhodes or the uh, Walmart exclusive Kenny Omega, and that's confusing. I think I've actually addressed this last month, so it's still been going on. Um, but it looks like, actually as of today, some people have been receiving the actual CM Punk uh, Supreme, so we'll see how that plays out, and we'll see if my pre-order, which I think still says December, um, ends up being the proper figure. So that there's that. Uh, New York Comic Con was this month and um, a lot of reveals and stuff like that. Again, I, I actually didn't take any notes. I just put NYCC here in my notes. <laughs> um, at the end of the video, in the personal notes, I'll get into why I'm kind of like, just kind of flur like a blur, um, but yeah, uh, again, I'm, I'm not great at the news thing. I try to be, and I try to make this at, at least engaging and kind of some, somewhat more of a, uh, a thing, but I'm so bad at it, um, you know, because I, I watch, you know, Robo with the Foosh every week and uh, Ultrazilla and all of them, and they, they do a great job. They're really good at doing this stuff, and I, I don't know. For me, I feel like so many people do the whole toy news thing. Uh, so much better than I think I could possibly do it that I'm just like, all right, I'll, I'll take my basic notes and then they just end up being like this. So we'll see uh, where this goes in the future. <laughs> but uh, other things relevant, sticking to my uh, plan here, uh, the Hammond Collection Carnotaurus actually went up for pre-order this month as well. And uh, I thought that was gonna be a Target exclusive. And then uh, Andy's, tor Andy's Dinosaur Reviews here on YouTube uh, end up posting like, or end up posting a review of it. I was like, okay, wow, how do you get that? And he, he explained the video. It went up on Amazon uh, once, twice, three times now. Um, and that's crazy. So <laughs> some people have it in hand. Some people got Target pre-orders. I didn't, I was actually in work when it went up and missed out on it. Um, I was a little miffed about that, but then uh, another Amazon pre-order went up. I actually got down on that. So my pre-order says December. So apparently December is going to be a busy month. And uh, yeah, so there's that. So, you know, I guess keep your eyes on the Amazon listing as, as loath as I am to say, keep your eyes on Amazon. Um, or we'll see when they hit target shelves, which may very well likely be um, in December. So there's that. And then uh, finally, this is not directly toy news related, but uh, I guess in regards to this channel, um, tomorrow on actual Halloween, uh, I don't, I haven't done any lists actually on this channel yet. So <laughs> my my first, uh, actually I, I do the yearly list, but I, somehow I don't count that. It seems like a rec, uh, like prerequisite to being a toy channel is you, know, you, you got to go over your top ten. It's one of the things I have the most fun with over the course of the year, um, but. Uh, I will be doing my top 10 or top 13 spooky figures in my collection. And that goes up tomorrow. And uh, I had a lot of fun like looking through and kind of reminding myself of what horror Halloween spooky figures are in my collection. So that'll be, that was fun to go through. I really hope you enjoy it. And uh, yeah, I don't know if new people watch the channel for that, but uh, I gotta hope so. I think it's gonna be fun. And you know, I'd, I'd like to do more lists. Um, we'll see how that goes. I like making lists. And uh, you know, it's something that definitely something to kind of like get get the gears turning and stuff like that. So uh, all of that being said, we can move on to the next section, which is my notable acquisitions from the past 30, 31 days. Let's do that now. 
So for notable acquisitions for October, we're going to start off with something very seasonably, seasonably appropriate, pardon me, <laughs> and uh, that is the Mythic Legions figure Obscura Mask of the Red Death figure, and this review is absolutely up. Uh, this figure just is fantastic. I'm not a huge uh, Mythic Legions collector, however, you know, the win when they do something that I, I'm interested in, I am all in, and this is definitely a case of that. Just beautiful figure. Check the review if you're curious on the finer details. So there's that. Then moving on, Heels and Faces Wave 2 Raven, and uh, let me adjust my camera a little bit here, um, have not been able to take this out of the package and review it just yet, but uh, I'm just even in package, I am impressed with the level of quality going on here. Um, you know, I was, I was impressed with the Danhausen figure. This looks like it's just going to continue that. I cannot wait to open this or view it. Just that actually just looks like a, an awesome, awesome figure of Raven. So there's that. And then we're moving on to something I'm definitely going to have to move the camera for. And uh, another thing I have not been able to unbox yet, and that is the Jurassic World Hammond Collection Brachiosaurus. And uh, as you can see, actually just like in the movie, we're gonna pan up. <laughs> the, the, the box is very large. However, it's not even as large as the figure is gonna be. I cannot wait to take a look at this. Uh, I kept kind of waiting and waiting and more or less playing the, uh, you know, uh, clearance chicken with this figure and uh, then Target did their whole, you know, 25% off any single uh, figure or book and took that as my sign. So got this for, you know, 20, $25 off. So yeah, very, very much excited. Love Hammond collection and very excited to get that out there. And then finally, I usually do three, but sometimes there's a bonus this month. There's definitely a bonus because it is relevant. And uh, that is we finally get the Foosh Toys Skeletons, the Okai Bone Brawler here. And uh, unfortunately I did not get the one with the, the pumpkin head, but I'm still very, very happy to have this, especially since these are hitting earlier than the ones with the pumpkin head, which is surprising. But I, I think that one's gonna be worth the wait to be completely honest. Um, yeah, I'm super excited, especially because this means I finally get to do another plastic combat one i've been waiting to do all year and that is with the skeletons that figure right there is part of that battle as well it's going to be great it's going to be awesome it's going to be a lot to talk about and you know honestly the plastic combat videos are probably some of my favorite to do so i've been very much looking forward to putting all these skeletons up against each other uh, and that will wrap it up for notable acquisitions for october So here we are at the end and, uh, you know, final notes, uh, pers personal notes, wrap up, etc. Um, you know, so I guess the first personal thing really, I started the month with COVID and it sucked. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I was just, I, I was wrapping up at my previous job and I don't know where I got it. I suspect where I got it, but it just, oh man, it was, it was brutal for a, a, a straight week. And, uh, you know, still, I feel like I'm still kind of feeling the after effects, the, you know, I hope I don't have long COVID, but uh, it just definitely things that are definitely more difficult than they were before. And, you know, uh, still kind of not a constant cough, but definitely it's always kind of there. And it's hard to tell because we're at that part of the year, uh, especially with the temperature fluctuations where just stuff gets in the air. So it could be allergies. It could be after effects of that. Who knows? But uh, thankfully, it's over because <laughs> it, it was it was brutal. It was painful, um, but it's done. And I was able to actually start my new job on time, thankfully, because I was clear by then. And I did move on to a new job and uh, making I'm making more money. I'm I have way better hours. I basically work while my son is in school. Uh, could not ask for a better situation to be in there, to be completely honest. So uh, very lucky there. And uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. So uh, yeah, not, not something that requires a ton of attention right now either because I'm still learning the ropes and stuff like that, but everyone I work with is super cool and that's that's kind of awesome. Uh, it also frees up my brain a little bit more for doing stuff like this because now I don't have two days a week that are kind of taken up by me being away from the house at night, which is where I record these videos. But uh, 
yeah, no, it's kind of cool to be doing that. So uh, here I am, new situation. Um, and yeah, I'm still kind of adjusting to the new schedule. It's a little weird having gone three to four months with having like two two nights where I'm, co I'm up completely and then sleeping most of the week during the day. It just, yeah, it was a little weird. So, uh, but I'm here now and uh, yeah, looking forward to what's going on. Obviously I've done a lot more videos. I mean, as you've noticed, basically I, the new schedule for the channel is uh, absolutely doing videos on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, which have kind of been the days that, you know, I don't know if they work for me algorithmically per se, but uh, they definitely like, I it works for me in terms of like, okay, there's enough space to get these videos done. And I've been reserving those spots for the non-wrestling figure videos and then wrestling figures kind of get peppered in everywhere else because there's so many of them and I that that works for me so uh you know I, I'm actually curious to hear feedback on that I mean I actually I'll probably post something like an actual like post post here on YouTube but um you know that how has that been for you as viewers of the channel like does does that work does that seem erratic or weird um, I don't know because I don't know what the perception of my channel is. It's why I value feedback and, uh, you know, I, I want to hear from you. Like, is that, is that cool? Does that work? Did, do, are, are you, are you subscribed here for wrestling figures? Are you subscribed here for the other stuff? Or are you subscribed here for all of it? Um, trying to get a gauge on kind of like who's, who's coming in and stuff like that. And, uh, speaking of which, actually, we're going to get to the end of the video and this is the shout outs. And I've missed these for the past couple months just cause it's, you know, gone. It got repetitive and I didn't want to keep repeating it and stuff like that. And, you know, a lot of you know who you are, but still, um, you know, I, I like giving credit where credit's due. Obviously, you know, first shout outs to my wife, Tracy, who has, you know, just is my rock and <laughs> the the absolute support here and has has allowed me to find my space here and there, whether it's jobs or whatever. Uh, just myself in general. Uh, my best friend Joe, who's always here, he's watched all the videos, and you know, I, again, just appreciate your support. Um, Evil Villain, who's been here since the beginning. Um, there's, and I talk to you almost every day, which is awesome. I mean, again, I like the connections I've made through this channel. This has definitely been a worthwhile endeavor in that regard. Um, and he actually should, I just sent some stuff to him and he should be sending stuff to me, uh, which will end up on this channel. Uh, shortly after that arrives. So uh, there's that. And then, you know, figure trap here on YouTube, you know, just okay, like don't talk to you every day, but like it's it's been awesome that we do talk and that wrestling has actually been the connection there uh, after figures. And that's been, that's been awesome. So there's that. And then finally, you know, my friend Gabe who got in touch with me yesterday and uh, yeah, I, I didn't realize you're watching every video or at least a lot of the videos. So if you're watching this one, thank you so much as always. I mean, you're you're an amazing person. I'm happy to have you as a friend. So uh, yeah, thank you for being here. And that will wrap stuff up for this month. So again, spooky month. I hope you all have just the best Halloween. Um, you know, I hope you're safe. I hope you just are able to enjoy it because that's, what this month feel that that's what this part of the year feels like this is another new year uh, it's always felt that way to me there's always an energy in the air and even even years like this where it's not quite as strong as it might have been previously or just in various other years um i do feel a little bit especially with the changes that have happened this month it, it feels like a new year a new lease um so i'm kind of excited to see what goes forward especially as i'm i'm nervous about winter as i always am because I have depression in general and it's definitely worse than um but you know find stuff to concentrate on and work on and that's what this channel is and the new job helps with that as well so uh thank you all so much for watching and uh if you're new and made it all the way to here thank you so much and i hope that this kind of gave you an insight into who i am and what i do outside of this slightly um but beyond that yeah i mean you're here we go. We're going to November, I guess. Um, and I've got a, a review relevant to Thanksgiving going up on the 1st. So look forward to that. And uh, beyond that, I'll just see you next month with this vlog. Uh, though hopefully you're watching the reviews in between. So uh, 
with that being said, I just hope you're well. I hope that all of your toy dreams come true. And most importantly, I hope that you and yours stay weird, Simeons.